Today on Boring Gear Reviews, we're going to talk about how Bog Street picks completely changed the way I play guitar. So Bog Street is a guitar pick company based out of San Diego, California, and they're started by Paul Holcomb, and they make ergonomic guitar picks. So basically the guitar pick hasn't changed since its invention. It's pretty much always been this rounded triangle shape that's flat on both sides. And although there are different thicknesses and sizes and textures and materials, for the most part, they've remained unchanged for the last you know, 100 years. So usually when you get your first guitar, whether you buy it or gifted it, you're given some picks. And it's usually whatever is around, whatever the guitar store has. And that for me, that was like the Fender mediums. And they're kind of like the root beer colored and they're, I don't remember what they were, like 0.5 or 0.6 millimeter or something like that. They're very thin. And whatever you get at first is usually what you use for a while. And after like a couple years, I, I don't remember how, but I had tried like a, a thicker pick. I think it was one... 0.2 or 1.4 or something like that and it had a little bit of texture on it and I was like this is a game changer this is the best thing that's ever happened to me and I played with those for a really long time and I think they were still nylon nylon shreds kind of quickly as you play you know it degrades quickly um, but I really liked those picks and then I don't know five years ago maybe more I switched and I used like those nylon picks forever and then maybe like five years ago I was like I really I would like a thicker pick. I was playing heavier strings and it just, it didn't make sense anymore to use those old picks for me. So I had found these 1.5 millimeter picks, a bit heavier, a bit stiffer, and they had a texture, which was a, a nice upgrade. And I played with those for a while and then I was like, ah, there's just, it's not thick enough. And for the past few years, I've been using these. They're textured and they're two millimeter, so super thick. But regardless, I'm still dropping those picks all the time. So one thing I never bring up is that just because of my experiences and what I do for a living and some other things, I have like a lot of injuries. Um, one of them being like very uh, severe cubital tunnel syndrome. So what that means and like in both of my hands, basically all down my arm and then through like my middle finger, uh, ring finger and pinky, it's not only numb, but um, painful, like pretty much all the time. And it gets exacerbated when I'm doing things like gripping things, holding things, touching things, breathing, being awake. So these flat picks mean I have to really grip a lot harder. And that just kind of makes all of those issues that much worse. So things like playing guitar can be quite a challenge sometimes. So I'm always on the lookout for things to kind of ease some of that pain and tension and make the process easier and more enjoyable. So I kept seeing all these ads for Bog Street and I picked up a mix pack. And I could tell from the second I put it between my fingers that I was never going to go back to a flat pick. Because of not only the hole in the center where your fingers can touch and you maintain that sensitivity, but it kind of like caves in and wraps around your fingers. It means you don't have to grip very hard. And even if your fingers move, it's not going to slip out of your hand. Not to mention they have a bunch of different shapes, a bunch of different sizes and thicknesses, a bunch of different materials, and all of them really kind of make... It puts the emphasis on what picks you're using it makes it so like you, you add like this whole other dynamic to your playing other than thinking of like, oh, whatever. Yeah, pick is a pick. It just, you know, the thicknesses or whatever, but who cares? This really gives like the same attention that you'd put to like your string selection or your amps or your pedals or your guitar itself. It makes the pick really important, which other than what I mentioned before about the thickness, the picks were never that important to me. So I think overall, I just feel this kind of like synergy with my playing now. So there are basically six types of picks right now. The axe blade, which has two sides of the same thickness, and then the third side is thinner. The axe cut, which is the same as the blade, but just larger. The battle axe, which is the same shape as the axe blade, but all three sides are the same thickness. The leap series, which has three different thicknesses per side, plus this really amazing grip in the center. And this has a lead version, which is thicker, and a rhythm version, which is thinner. 
The Mini Beast, which is kind of like uh, Jazz 3, so much smaller, uh, really thick and stiff and uh, sharp on the edges. And this also has that really outstanding grip in the center. And then lastly, there is the Scales, which has this kind of super effective rubber grip in the center. And this comes in a couple thicknesses as well. So everything in the Axe series comes in four different styles. We have a light, medium, heavy, and textured. So with guitar picks, for the most part, the smaller the thickness or lighter the pick is, the kind of higher, sharper tone you're going to have. And then as the pick gets thicker, the tone gets a little darker, a little warmer. But also with thicker picks, you don't have to hit as hard. So you can really change a lot of dynamics with just the picks you're using. And the textured picks are super cool because every time you scrape the string, it's like... Well, it's like scraping the string. So you get a very cool attack every time with each note. For today's demo, I'm using my 2013 Gibson Les Paul Traditional, and this has Sunbear 59 PAF pickups. And that will be going into my UAD Apollo X6, and I'll be using the SoftTube JMP 2203 Amp Sim. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run through each pick side by side so you can hear kind of the tonal differences, but it's really more important kind of like what I'm saying about them, because hearing the difference in picks is going to be much more slight than me telling you kind of how it's changed my playing. But regardless, we're going to go through each pick. Each one will be labeled on screen so you know what you're hearing and you get an idea of what they sound like. And I've had these picks for about six weeks now, so just like a ton of time with them, hundreds of hours of playing. And any of my videos over the last month have featured these picks and everything moving forward will as well.
Okay, so for this clip, we're gonna play some lead lines using the scale standard. So this is a 0.5 millimeter pick, so super thin, and it has this rubber textured center, which makes it just super easy and comfortable to hold. And we're gonna pair that with the Fairfield Circuitry 900 fuzz. If you'd like to see a full demo of the 900, click the link right here. And that'll be going into the CXM 1978 from Chase Bliss Audio and Maris, and this will be adding kind of like a nice size plate reverb. So as far as the sound is concerned, what you're gonna hear is a glassier, higher end, but it's also a softer attack because there's way less resistance against the string. And that makes for a very warm, natural, and kind of like pleasant and easy sound. I could say that my experience playing with it, I don't normally play with thin picks anymore, like ever. I haven't in, I don't know, 25 years years. I think I only used thin picks for like a year. So it's been like almost 30 years of never playing with a pick this thin again. But I really, really enjoyed doing this. You know, whether you play live or not, if you're playing at home, and especially if you're recording, having an assortment of picks to choose from is really amazing. It'll completely change the way you approach your playing and the dynamics. <laughs> So in this next clip, we're gonna be using this textured battle axe. This is a two millimeter pick with a textured, so you get a lot of that cool string scrape. I think the battle axes are my personal favorite. And what I found is that even though normally I use two millimeter picks, I've been able to go up to three. I know that sounds insane, but like because your finger sits in the middle and it dips in, it doesn't feel cumbersome or too thick or too heavy. It, But it just means that like my pick attack can be lighter, but I still get a very uh, big and aggressive sound because of the weight of the pick. So here I'm using the textured one, which is two millimeters, and it's a very big sound. I'm using a very big tone as well, but you'll hear in the beginning, I'm playing a little softer. You'll hear this really cool string scrape. And then when I dig in, it's massive. And it allows me to have that big tone without punishing so hard on my picking hand. It, it, uh, I can stay more relaxed and still get that aggressive sound that I like. And here we're gonna be using the small sound, big sound buzz overdrive. So this is an octave fuzz, super aggressive. And once again, we're gonna be using the CXM 1978 for a large plate reverb. Thank you. 
that's a wrap. I really can't stress how much more enjoyable playing has become since switching to these Bog Street picks. It might be easy to get turned off from these when you see the price, but like, yeah, they're more than regular picks, but the advantage far outweighs the couple dollars difference. You know, while I'm dealing with injuries, being able to greatly improve the way I'm playing, but also like decrease some of the stress and pain while I'm playing is huge, invaluable. You know, if you're a recording musician, having something that has three different thicknesses is unbelievable. Like what a cool utility to have that you can go between strumming, lead playing, rhythm playing, um, and really change the tonal characteristics just by turning it in your hand. So I think it's obvious. I, l I love these picks. I'm never going to go back. Like now, even when I pick up a flat pick, it almost feels like it's puffed up in the center because like my fingers can't touch and I just, you don't have the sensitivity. Like even as it starts moving around in your hand, you know, like you can't get it back unless you use your other finger to do it. With the Bog Street picks, not only is it going to move around less, but like when you do, it still kind of sits in the center. Like I can move all this around, but because of that hole, it just ends up staying right where it is. Like it's, it's just not going anywhere. I mean, look at how cool is that? All right, so I know that <laughs> so I know this video was like extra nerdy, but I never thought picks were that interesting until now. And like I said, these are the greatest guitar picks I've ever used. And there are obviously more styles of picks. There are metal picks, glass picks, ones made out of wood or or different types of stone. There's you know ones that are made out of felt or rubber. There's a lot of different ways to go for picks. But if you're looking for right now like the best feeling nylon based or hybrid hybrid resin based picks, like there's no contest. So links for everything I'm using in the description below. If you dig the content, please consider hitting that like, subscribe and share. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next week for another video. Peace.